Um, you seem like you're doing well. Good enough to talk, at least. I guess. I'm here for emotional trauma. But that's a lie. Huh? I said I can't remember where I came from due to amnesia. Now I can't go home because of it. I'm not quite ready to face my family yet. Are you gonna tell the hospital staff? I wouldn't do something like that. You look hurt, beaten, and dirty. I'm guessing that's from your warrior training? Yeah. But I think... I'm done. This other person I know is amazing at everything. So I don't really stand much of a chance. That's good to hear. You're a good kid. I'd be more happier if you live a long life. But still, I don't want them to become a warrior either. How come? Is it the girl? By any chance? She's kind of famous around here. She did incredible things in the war. Everyone's saying she should be the next armored. But I'm too weak compared to her. So I can't do anything to change it. Keep your head up. I was like you years ago and it was very hard for me. I've been thinking every day and sitting. How did it all come down to this? For example, Civilization is a wonderful thing, a whim of circumstances. Ruined minds and bodies, dreams of freedom erased, personalities burned and faded away. No one would ever wanted to go to war. If they knew what it would do to them. But it's not like we leapt into the hell knowingly. Most of us were pushed. And most of us were pushed by their mercy. And some of us were pushed by the environments they grew up in. However, the few who do know choose to leap into the hell see it differently than the rest. And they are able to see something beyond their tasks. Maybe that something is hope. Or maybe yet it's just another hell. At any time, the smallest flap of the butterfly's wings will just simply fade away. Fact is, you can only find out by moving forward.